Welcome to Limitless. Did you know that hang gliding comes from space? Well, technically, the space program. Long before even the space shuttle. Specifically, during the Gemini and Apollo programs, astronauts had to land in the ocean using parachutes. NASA planners began looking for an alternative to the re-entry parachute. Many at NASA thought astronauts should have more control over a capsule rather than just landing in the ocean. An inventive NASA researcher named Francis Regalo suggested using his flexible wing to complete the task. The wing would deploy from the top of the spacecraft and fill with air to create drag. The tension lines would help keep its shape. In theory, astronauts could control where the capsule would land. Regalo had been working on this design for 20 years as a low-cost way for anyone to fly. Most of the work was done by Regalo and his wife, and the first hang glider was made from their old living room curtains. It was tested in wind tunnels and flight tested at NASA for over two years. Ultimately, NASA went with the proven parachute re-entry system. Word began to spread about this new lightweight wing anyway. The sport of hang gliding was born by the early 1970s. Nice job, bro. and Joey launches the Will's Wing T2, one of the highest performing gliders in the world. Joey heads south. Real south.
This dude can fly. It's amazing what a hang glider can do today. And Joey lands well. Let's head to Scott's job site. Check it out, we're on Scott's job site. <laughs> Joey, what's up, Joey? What's up, man? What you doing, man? <laughs> Making sheet rocks. Oh, man, you guys are doing doors, huh? We're doing doors. Yeah, there might be a little dust, just a little. Yeah, it's still good. Just, uh, it's pretty cool. This guy can build some doors and stuff. He could at least destruct some doors. We can see that. <laughs> Just about done. Yeah, I got a new glider. It's on the chuck. I got to get off of there right now. And I've been injured for the last few weeks. Horrible. Yeah. Always awesome when you get tendonitis and you can't fly. Let's bowl. How you doing, Joey? What's up, man? Hey, what's up, Saul? Good bowling, Saul. Hey, right on, man. What's in the house? What's up? Welcome to the living room. Hello. What's up, Dwayne? I'm still here in the bathroom. It looks like you just spit me off, man. What? Hey, I got you. You're the man! <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, Mr. Right Flyer, he's always flying in some kind of way. Yeah, right! <laughs> but it's a beautiful thing! Right on, Dwayne! I tell you, man, baby. Right on, you, dude. You might be on living this. What's up, man? Are we gonna be on your YouTube? Yeah, man. Oh, dope. Right. I'm on the living this. Hi, guys. So nice! So nice! Hey, Dwayne, It's all about the pores. <laughs> and limitless, baby. Let's go limitless. Yeah, man. Six. <laughs> Two more strikes, and he has his first 300. Nice job, man. My hand is finally feeling better. Time to set up my new glider. Yeah! Nice job, Will's Wings. I'll keep it here till the fort is good. Let's bounce and get to Levin. And I launch. Birdman's up here too. And I'm going up.
and I land on the H4 spot. And Birdman flares well. Let's head to Mount Tam. We have to roll through San Francisco. What's up, man? Shut up. You ready? I hope so. We'll see. They scary last night. Yeah, you can't fly because you ate too much bird. Yeah, I, I ate plenty of bird to be able to fly, man. We'll see. Hopefully there's some wind though. I love wind. Yeah, Joey behind us too. Yeah, Joey's back there. So you guys are going to squeak out some kind of flying today. You got your quad thumpers with you? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we got four okay. red. Yeah, man. Three gliders, two choppers. Yeah, Joey's coming too. This is going to be awesome. Oh, cool. It might be exceptionally pretty because there's patchy fog and stagnant air everywhere. It might be really pretty. <laughs> All right, man, you guys have fun today. I'll check with you later. Cool, right, my right friend. On. Later, man. Later. Later. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Dude, I'm lost. I'm lost. Dude, what? I'm lost. I'm going, I'm going the wrong way. Joey's got to be pissed. Like, what the hell is this guy going? <laughs> this isn't the first time that we've had problems with this guy driving over here. <laughs> I should have learned my lesson by now, but sometimes I just I forget and I get in the truck anyway. I'm like, dude, I should have just drove again. I knew it. I've flown here a lot more than you, huh? It's twice as much as you know, I guess. So. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you also talk twice as much shit as me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you the ropes. I'll show you what we've done. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So good to me. It's so good. I don't even know what to do. So In fact, you got to check out Limitless, Birdman, and Saul Good Go Rogue for their first 150. It's a classic film. <laughs> Welcome to Mount Tan. And Joey launches. And he has some fun. Nice job, Joey. Oh no. Saw what happened. Lost my drone, man. Man, I'm up hella early. I gotta go get my drone. Gotta at least get the footage off that thing, man. And the GoPro 6 is on there too, man. So, hopefully, 
this will work out. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. It was getting too dark to find it last night. Going to drastic lengths to get this GoPro footage back, man. Dude, we're on an adventure right now. We're following Joey up there. We're going to get the drone, man. The drone it, went MIA. It flew away on us, man. <laughs> on me, man. You and I was so good to it. It left me anyway. So, we got some GPS coordinates. You see how this goes. This is a trip. I've never done no shit like this before, man. But uh, it's kind of cool adventure anyway. So, we'll, we'll find it. Let's go. Yeah, it's amazing to think we're gonna try and find a drone in all of this wilderness. <laughs> Wish us luck. We're gonna find it for sure? For sure, guaranteed. Okay, man. Guaranteed. This guy's got hella faith. Me too, I got faith that I might be buying a new drone. <laughs> <laughs> totally the trail, Wulu camp. <laughs> this is, the GPS says we're supposed to go this way. Cause it's like decreasing, see? <laughs> This to be like the right way. We're gonna like travel. 15 satellites keeping track of where the drone is, so hopefully one of those knew where the heck it led him. It's on the other side of these trees. 3391. Yes. And that's where that last mark is. The other side of that floor is where it's at. So beautiful. Uh, this is like the Goonies, you know? <laughs> We're like old ass goonies. Getting closer. 1466. Stay off road. Survivor man says this is not always a good idea. There are no trails here. The signal is coming from down there. We're going straight down right now. It doesn't look like it, but we're going down. <laughs> Dude, this is dedication. I got just the way back. I'm gonna break this branch right here. I'm breaking that branch so we know the way out. Be careful and watch your step. We don't want to injure ourselves down here. Poison oak looks like an oak tree leaf. You know what an oak leaf looks like? You don't touch that. You sure? I'm going away. I just went 68. Oh, that's on my. That's on my GPS. So. Yeah. 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 We're, we're exactly. We're going you right now. Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go all the way up there, man. All the way up. We just gotta keep going up till we find a road. I'm glad we didn't do this last night. There's poison oak right here. Eighteen feet. There's a bunch of them around me. It's eight feet right now, nine feet. So, dude, it's above us. It's somewhere around here. I had a feeling that it fell, and when it fell, it rolled down a mountain. If it did fall out of the sky, over here, it could hit one of those. I ain't good. I don't see nothing up there, man. I was hoping it'd be in like a clearing. You know what I mean? Like, this is not a clearing. Well, we're just looking, it's above our faces right now. We're going away from it. Yeah, if it hit here, it would fall down into the valley. All right? And just keep going until something stopped it. We've been searching all through this forest, but it's the worst possible location for a drone to have fallen. If it did fall somewhere around here, it would probably roll all the way down there. Problem is, the truck is all the way, way up there. We got to climb up this mountain without any trails very soon until we hit the ridge line, which is where the truck is. So at this point, I'm like, <laughs> time to buy a new drone. <laughs> if it fell around here, it probably went straight down and got stuck somewhere, or it's up in one of these trees somewhere. And uh, yeah, this isn't working out so well. I know there's probably some wise drone operator out there that's like, ah, oh, you just, Press this button and that button in this menu and you'll be able to find a drone or whatever. But I don't know about all that. Uh, so we're gonna try and fly the other drone above this location to see if maybe my drone is hanging out in a tree, you know, getting a suntan or whatever. I keep, you know, my eyes keep playing tricks on me. Like I keep thinking I see the drone in the tree, you know, but then you walk a little further and you go, no, it's just a branch. 
You know, it's like needle in a haystack type shit right here. So, yeah. The only thing it left was last known coordinates in the middle of this freaking forest over here. And there's nothing there. There's no GoPro, there's no nothing. No black box, no memory card. And now we gotta walk all the way up a mountain. I thought mine was better. And he was telling me his was better. I was like, no, nah, no way. It turns out he was right. That's really what hurts me the most. He's mad at this guy, honestly. <laughs> so. Honestly, the karma was great, and that's why I'm mad. It's pretty sad. My takeoffs have been horrible. I need to hit the 50. feel way more confident now. Welcome to Limitless. Nice. Hang That's... gliding. <laughs> so here is about to fly over the Bolinas Fairfax Ridge. <laughs> nice. Awesome. And I launch. But before I do, I pray that there is somewhere to land. Because there are so many people on the beach down there. And Birdman launches. The beach is full and the only place I can land is near those two people in white. As I try to land over them, they move over to give me the perfect runway. Turns out, God heard my prayer because those are nuns. Thank you so much! And Birdman yeah, lands. Yeah, hi, sweet. Nice to meet you. Nice. Hi, Sister Rose. Nice to meet you. And thanks for moving out of the way. They're so crucial. I mean, I don't want to run over, especially nuns. Oh my god. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> See you later from the San Francisco Bay Area.
Limitless has been a Saul Good Productions presentation.